The Army privates shot at the Little Rock Recruitment Center six years ago will finally receive their Purple Hearts. Private William Long was killed, and Private Quinton Ezeguela was wounded when a radical Muslim opened fire on them. This is Long's dad, Darris. It's been five years, eight months, and 16 days since my son was killed, and we've been fighting this all the way. So why did it take so long? Well, the administration thought it didn't occur in combat, despite the shooter declaring his jihadism, which sounds combative to me. But no matter, we have a hard time identifying evil, even when it so badly wants us to. This weekend, yet again, ISIS beheaded more Christians. If that's JV, then Lizzie Borden was a troubled teen. And in Pakistan, a woman missed her curfew, so her husband burned her alive. Awful stuff, yet we prefer damning our own problems instead, as though they're equal. The media asks if a candidate would attend a gay wedding, but not his thoughts on Islamic intolerance. I get it, that stuff is far, far away, except that it's really not. They have spent a great deal of time over the past year trying to get to Syria to fight for ISIL. They have tried to leave the United States from our airport here in Minnesota, from JFK Airport in New York, by bus, by car, and by any means possible. They were not confused young men. They were not easily influenced. These are focused men who are intent on joining a terrorist organization. And so as we catch more terrorists in America, we realize 2016 isn't about politics, but priorities. The Dems offer an inverse pyramid, a teetering joke that at its top is climate change, which is really retribution, then economic inequality, which is really retribution, and then justice, which is, yes, retribution. See that tiny space on the bottom marked other? That's where you might find terror next to gum disease of the aardvark. No wonder it took so long for an act of war to be deemed so. In this pyramid, such matters are not visible until the whole thing collapses, and surely it will. All right, uh, KG, six Minnesota men charged uh, Monday providing material support. They were going to go to join ISIS. Mm -hmm. I always wonder, why don't we let them join? Well, that's been your theory, that in <laughs> yeah. fact we should go, here you go, let them go over there. You know, yeah, keep them out of the country. The, pro the problem is, these are the people that we're catching. Think about those that are here, like amongst us, that we aren't, we're not even aware of, that are slipping through the cracks. Those are the ones you've got to worry about because they're going to commit the acts. The fact that this is happening, and by the way, Minnesota's got a, a problem. This is not the first time this type of thing has happened. There's a serious indoctrination and problem in this country. They for sure have it there. You've had teenage girls. Everybody's somehow becoming enamored with this. And, of course, then what the news that's happened over the weekend with the concerted effort and organization putting out through social media from different sites, other factions, all in the name of ISIS. It's very alarming, and I really want to know what we are doing about it to be careful and safe and catch it before it's too late and preempt. Julie, my theory is the first candidate to strongly confront terrorism is going to be the nominee, but you can't be anti-terror if you are a hard-left Democratic Party, can you? You can't be anti-terror? Yeah. Well, we have a president, I think, who's been pretty good on being anti-terror. You might disagree with that, but look, we haven't had a terrorist attack on our soil since. Uh, and I don't want, okay, Boston, all right, all right. In Fort Hood? All right, Fort Hood, excuse me, Fort Boston. Hood, yes, yes, yes. Boston was a different story. I wouldn't know, Fort Hood, I, I would give you. That wasn't Boston was a different Little Rock. They were terrorists. I'm sorry, they were, terror they were they were terrorists, soil. but that was, listen, they were, that, that, Fort, Hill. Tim, Tim, Fort, Fort Hood, Fort Hood you're right. Navy Yard? But what I would say to you is this. He had you had in Oklahoma. All right, all right. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, I, I know 9-11 started, George Bush's presidency started on 9-12, the day after 9-11, so let's, you know, let's call it a spade a spade. We have not had a mass terrorist attack, excuse me, since 9-11. You're right, we've had other terrorist oh, attacks. Oh, uh, mass. W when does it become mass? How many okay. have to die? All right, can I, yeah, can I make, can, let's, move, let's move on. My point is, <laughs> any president on any watch, I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican, is going to do whatever they can to try to avoid any kind of terrorist attack. I don't want to make this a partisan issue, whether it's Hillary Clinton as the next president, whether it's Martin O'Malley, whether it's Bernie Sanders, who's as left as it gets, mm -hmm. or whether it's Rand Paul, or whether it's Ted Cruz, who's as right as it gets. All these people are going to be committed to stamping out terrorism. I don't think you can say this is a partisan issue because it really isn't. I mean, this but is an I, American I guess issue. When I, when I, Eric, when I was talking about that pyramid, that pyramid is accurate about the priorities. It's not a, it, it, you may not say it's pars, partisan or political, but that's how President Obama feels. Climate change is way more important than terror. But I don't, how can you say that? He, he, no, he, he said, said it. it. it he has not said yes, it. He, he, he <laughs> walked into the office saying and, and outlined what his, what his goals were for the next four or eight years. And, and one of them was, you know, basically saying we want to embrace the Muslim, the, the Muslim community and not 
treat them like the, 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 they're the enemy. And by doing so, maybe the policies over the last six years have opened the door for more terrorism, at least to leak in you here. Can I just point out James Comey? says he has 50 states under investigation. Yeah. He sells in 50 separate states. Right. So Whose appointee is, is he? I'm, I'm, I don't know. Is it a Bush appointee? James Comey? Yeah. So he's Barack Obama's FBI director. Okay, good. So there, the, yes, he has 50 investigations, and they're popping up everywhere. That, yeah. That's the point. The, the point that is they're they supposed are, to be investigating them. Of course they're popping up. They're okay, supposed to be and, getting them. And they're actually pursuing them, and they're actually uh, coming to fruition in, in Great. I'm glad they are. Can I point one thing out about the, the Christians that got beheaded, uh, over the, I believe it was over the weekend? I would love to see ISIS, I would love to see them killed, murdered, taken apart. However, there's a Christian response to it that's amazing on the Internet right now. It's um, a group called OnePeter5.com. If you watch it, you will see a Christian response to ISIS. is the best thing you've ever seen if you're looking for a Christian um, solution to the ISIS problem. Dana? Uh, do you have a question for me? I was going to ask you about the, the executions of the Ethiopian Christ Christians and the fact that it's genocide. Uh, I mean, it, it, and, but we don't seem to care. I don't think we care as a country because Remember, it's far away. One, one of the things that, that the first thing that happened in foreign policy in 2009 was the dissolution of the global war on terror. Mm -hmm. But if you look at all the things that you just mentioned, all the places that we could name, and pretty soon you get right back to a global war on terror. Right. We just won't call it that. Yeah. The other thing that's happening in the United States that I would mention is that um, a lot of these people that are recruiting ISIS are digital natives. They are faster than we are and they are, the government is lagging behind. Another problem is community involvement. One of the things you have to have is trust with the community to tell law enforcement that they suspect something is happening in their communities. Moms don't want their kids to go fight with ISIS, but they also don't want their kids to go to jail. So the immigrant refugee community is clamming up, and we don't have the way to get the intel that we need. Mm -hmm. That's like the good government problem that we need to solve, mm -hmm. not a partisan uh, one.